Professor Jawaharullah, Leader of the People's Humanitarian Party, President of the Tamil Nadu Muslim Munnetra Karagam and MLA from Papanasam Assembly Constituency, presided over an award function held on Friday, 3rd March in Jeddah. A Tamil native of Trichy, Badruddin Abdul Majid, who has been doing various services in Saudi Arabia and home for the past several years, and the Managing Director of Universal Inspection, headquartered in Jubail, was honoured the Tamil of Achievement Award in recognition of his services in the programme held as an Islamic Scholarship Seminar. Talking about this award, the administrators of the Jeddah Muttamil Sangam said that this was an award to recognise the services of Badruddin Abdul Majid, who has been playing a major role in all the services and activities of Jeddah Muttamil Sangam operated in Jeddah city since 2019 and who continues to help all people regardless of caste, religion, language and state. Badruddin Abdul Majid expressed his appreciation and gratitude to the Saudi Tamar media regarding the recognition. It is noted that earlier he had given five demands to Professor Jawaharullah besides a separate flight for service for Hajj from Tamil Nadu. The following are the details of the demands. First, release of 38 Muslim prisoners who are in jail for two decades. The release of 38 Muslims who were imprisoned when they were young innocent youths and who have been suffering for more than two decades in jail away from family is a matter of priority for the entire Muslim community in Tamil Nadu. Our beloved Honourable CM MK Stalin had already announced the premature release of 700 life convicts to mark the 113th birthday of Aringar Anadure. During the election campaign also, the CM had promised to release them. If the DMK comes to power, the entire Muslim community and the alliance parties accept that the DMK government will fulfil the promise by releasing them. The second, outsiders intruding into Tamil Nadu. The central government is deliberately appointing a lot of North Indians in all sectors, at times even those who are unqualified, by misusing the influences, especially in railways, airports, lignite corporations, BHEL, military, etc., thereby discriminating the local Tamil people. In the current scenario, the Tamil Nadu government needs to enact laws and cons- control discrimination of any kind and provide maximum employment to the people of Tamil Nadu. Ban on NEET examination This is also one of the manifestos of the DMK during their campaign. The ban on NEET examination is not yet implemented in Tamil Nadu, which affects the opportunities for Tamil Nadu students to enroll in medical education. Implementation with the consent of Honourable President of India has to be done on an emergency basis to encourage the number of Tamilians taking up a medical education. The fourth, sale of government properties. DMK government must take precautionary measures to stop the selling of public property illegally to private parties under the influence of politicians and vested interests. Fifth, historical names. Historical names for places are given to commemorate services and to recall important events in history. They should not be renamed, thereby ruining the pride of historical events and landmarks, which when we renamed would be forgotten in due course. I'm not 
ఉన్నప్పుడు కూడా ఇస్లాం వలైకిము రహమతుల్లా బరకాతు Thank you for watching. Please stay tuned for more updates from Saudi Tamar Media. Signing off, Gisha Sridhar.